Oh, you want to know if she likes you? And this is an absolutely foolproof method. She doesn't. Anyways, let's learn about the prehistoric titanic monarch, the Dreadnoughtus. The name Dreadnoughtus translates roughly to fear nothing, and the reason it gets that name is because of its colossal size, it's very unlikely it had any natural predators outside of other Dreadnoughtuses. It lived during the Cretaceous period and its remains were found in Argentina. It is argued to be one of the largest animals to ever walk this planet. However, that title is very controversial seeing as all Dreadnoughtus skeletons found were not fully developed yet. So the title is more often than not given to the Argentinosaurus. The Dreadnoughtus clocks in at a whopping 85 feet long, and its weight is still heavily debated to this day. Weights ranging from as much as eight African elephants to weighing more than a commercial airliner. Most Titanosaurus are only known from a handful of bones that have been recovered, but the Dreadnoughtus is different in that regards, whereas it has a whopping 45% fossil completion, whereas most other Titanosaurus range from 7 to 15% complete. This is because every Dreadnoughtus that has been found, it has been determined that the way that they had been buried was very rapid under the sedimentary rock. So paleontologists were able to learn so much more, not only about the Dreadnoughtus, but Titanosaurus as a whole. One of the other bizarre things about the Dreadnoughtus was its bone structure. Noticeably, a lot of them were significantly more hollow than a lot of other sauropods. One of the reasons this is, is it's speculated that they had a very unique air ventilation system, some even speculating it was external, as shown in Prehistoric Planet. However, it is very hard to get any sort of fossilized tissue, so that remains up to speculation. However, it is definitely more leaned on to the fact that it was an internal system. Another bizarre difference between the Dreadnoughtus and a lot of other sauropods is the fact that it had very broad shoulders and a very broad chest. One of the paleontologists that discovered the Dreadnoughtus pointing out that it reminded him a lot of the likes of an AT-AT from Star Wars. Ah, hell yeah! When it comes to long-necked dinosaurs, more people like to point to the Brachiosaurus as being the biggest and baddest around. However, we know that there was an even bigger colossal titan out there that truly did fear nothing.